so hi dear libra a very very good evening to you guys this is anjali tarot and this is a journal love reading for all the libra sun moon venus rising keep in mind this is general it might or might not resonate with you at the first place the second thing the roles can be reversed also third thing this is a reading from uh, uh, 21st till the 27th of october and it's valid for every 12 sign that you are dealing with along with your own sign if it is not resonating it's not your story you can just skip the video if you want to be a professional tarot card reader like me, you can start your journey by purchasing my course. The link is in the description box for the same. <laughs> if you want to start your self-healing journey with Ho'oponopono but don't know from where to start, you can definitely start by purchasing my masterclass. The link is in the description box for the same. And Libra, here you go again. You never, you guys never, never, never allow me to do the reading in one go. The epic camera phone. <coughs> <coughs> the epic uh, camera fall in libra continuously happening so enjoy yeah so let's start the reading i don't know what i was saying before this so let's see okay libra your person or your partner's current feelings for you right now at this present moment are let's see we have the page of words okay so there might be somebody around you who is trying to take this situation as a friend ki friendship kind of energy only or a casual kind of a thing only let me clarify. Let me see what's going on behind the scenes. Let's clarify the page of fonts as their feelings for you. Or it could be a like a, a friendship kind of a deal right now. Like there is a new person, new energy around you who is trying to take the situation as lightly as possible. Mm -hmm. Let's see. We have the four of fonts, the five of pentacles, the death card. Wow. Wow. So they, this person is scared of marriage, commitment, long-term partnership. Basically, you are dealing with a commitment phobic person because of his past, his or her past experiences, because of their past experiences, past issues. This person is not even uh, thinking about that factor in their life where things are going beyond a certain level because they're scared as hell. But this person likes you. They like uh, your energy. They like to be around you. They, they don't know why they like you. But when it comes to long-term partnership, commitment and or something stable, they are scared as hell. So they feel like keeping the situation as casual as they can from their side. <clears throat> because they don't want to get hurt again ever the way they got hurt before. Okay. Wow. So either they are coming out of a broke marriage or a broke commitment. And there was an ugly breakup or separation before this situation between you and them. And now they don't, they definitely don't want to repeat the same cycle ever in this lifetime. So they are very scared. They are very cautious. Let's see what do you feel about this particular person or situation from your side, Libra. Nine of Wands, okay. You feel like keeping your guards up. You feel like, okay, opening up to this person, but very, very slowly, like very slowly, very slowly. You are like, okay. Maybe this person is going to be another lesson for you. So you are just kind of very cautious. So they are not opening up to you because they feel they don't want to get hurt again. You are not opening up to them because you are already hurt and you feel like you should not open up to anybody just like that. My goodness, typical love story of two hurt people trying to connect. Yeah, see, uh, because you are feeling back and forth, you are having back and forth energies towards this person, towards the situation. And you're holding back this urge to do something stupid in this direction because you feel like if it is meant to be, it will happen eventually. But I want to open up to this person only 10% or let's say 5% or 6% or whatever, whatever percentage you have given yourself to. But it's like, <clears throat> what is wrong with me? My voice and everything is kind of, uh, today, this day is strange. Today is a very, very strange day for me. Since the morning itself. Anyways, so I'm just trying to like let this uh, day pass because something is totally different today. And I'm not able to figure out what, okay? Um, uh, anyways, the thing here is because you are so up and down on and off in this situation, you feel like you should just uh, go very slowly with this. And if it is meant to be, it will eventually develop into something beautiful. If it is not, then it's like kind of gone only, right? Hmm. Let's see what this person wants from you. What are their intentions for the situation between you and them? Devil, okay. Their intention is to keep you nearby them. Keep you hooked. 
now i don't think this person even though it is devil but this person might try to use some kind of toxic ways or some kind of manipulations to keep you stuck with them in some way now i don't see them as a bad intention kind of a person or a, or as a bad bad person or something no their intention is to keep you around them to keep you stuck on them in some way again even if they are doing it i don't see i don't feel the bad energy from this person side it's just they're scared that is why they just want to keep you around them to see if you are the one for them that is their intention right now yeah see see i'm telling you before losing their independence completely before giving you some kind of commitment or some kind of green signal from their side they want to test the waters with you perfectly but they don't want you to entertain other people or other options at all this is the only energy that i'm seeing as something negative from this person's side because they can't give you something that you want maybe but at the same time they don't want you to you know uh, spend your time and energy with other energy or energies here because they want to test the waters with you and they want you to be fully available to them even if they are not gosh <laughs> let's see what do you want from this particular person or situation from your side libra knight of pentacles you don't want to take any kind of step until unless you're thousand percent sure that you want to go in a particular direction you just want to take things really very 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 slow to the level of uh, even getting the vibes of not interested to the other person here it's not the case but you just want to take the things very slow okay that's really cool that's actually very cool but i think you guys should talk to each other properly and honestly and you guys are not able to do that both of you yeah it's like you don't want to take any kind of decision based on attraction you just want to understand whether it's a uh, it's true love whether it's something that you can uh, spend your time and energy on or this is something that's going to give a lesson again or become a lesson again so you don't want to have any tower moment again in your life you don't want to you know give this the name of love give this a label of love or relationship until unless you are thousand percent sure that this is it okay so i think both of you have some kind of fears that you are dealing with but both of you are dealing with it uh, on a very very different kind of uh, level and with a the very very different kind of mindset okay let's see what's coming towards you till the 27th of october libra magician okay manifestation is going on here some kind of manifestation is going on behind the scenes let's clarify the magician we have the page of cups the 9 of wands the 6 of pentacles both of you are manifesting love but both of you are not opening up to both of you are not opening up to to each other because both of you are thinking like it's not uh, the right person it's not the right energy it's not the right dynamic it's not the right relationship so both of you are scared as hell but both of you are manifesting love at the same time both of you are not ready to open up to the other person here to the level of yes we are together or yes we are going to open up or this or that no manifestation is going on manifesting a true love is uh, going on from both the sides and both of you are not ready to open up as of now even if you guys are going to try your best to open up to each other you guys are not able to understand each other because you guys are not on the same page energetically that is the problem here let's see the guidance for you guys here in the situation libra we have the 6 of swords the 7 of cups the 5 of cups yes there are lots of fears lots of limiting beliefs lots of energies of what if this will happen what if that will happen what if this is going to disappoint me again what if this is going to scar me for the rest of my life again and this and that you have lots of questions you have a lo lot of uh, lots of limiting beliefs you have lots of uh, painful experiences and because of that you are not able to connect with anybody the way you should that is the problem here right so until unless you are 100% 1000% out of the pain the limiting beliefs the confusion zips and birds you should not be connecting with anybody on that level that is the right thing to do but the kind of approach you are taking is kind kind of fine but the other energy is kind of not uh, 
that much uh, you know healthy in their uh, heart uh, mind in their in their uh, way of uh, reaching out to love and relationship reaching towards love and relationship kind of a dynamic so it's a complicated kind of a journey that both of you are going through right now but it's transforming as well so yeah i don't know what uh, else to say libra this is what i have for you hope this helps i'll see you soon in the next video bye bye take care god bless you namaste